The game has changed. This video is about trying to find a job as an instrumentation technician. And uh, so I posted a video about a year ago that got a lot of traction. And uh, in that video, I pretty much talked about what it was like being an instrumentation technician. Uh, you know, what it's like finding a job, what the process is, going to college, looking for jobs, and just like, you know, general information about what the job's like. Uh, video is geared for people going into the industry. And um, so lately I've been looking for jobs again. I just want to make a quick video and post it because I haven't posted in about a year. Uh, about what it's like trying to find a job right now as an instrumentation technician. And uh, so yeah, anyways, I've been filling out applications, hitting people up online. Um, a little bit of a less aggressive job search this time as last time when, when I was looking for a job back in 2020. Um, I would apply for every job that came up. Anything that had instrumentation or electrical technician in the name I was applying for. This time I took a little bit of a different approach. And uh, I pretty much just applied for the jobs I liked or sounded good or, you know, the pay was right. Uh, some of the jobs I'm applying for is instrumentation technician, instrument technician, electrical maintenance technician, controls technician, and then electrical and automation technician. Those are the job titles that I've been applying for. I applied for maybe seven jobs, got rejected by one. Uh... It looks like I'm going to get a couple job offers here this week. Um, but how has the game changed? The job market, especially for an instrumentation technician right now, is totally awesome. I uh, just thought I'd make a quick video just sharing that. Uh, my last video, I, I made a comment how it's really important to get experience while you're getting your certification or your degree in order to land a job. And I basically just want to amend that and say, I think... At this point, you don't even really need that. You go out and get the degree. I think you'll have a pretty smooth time finding a full-time job. Uh, the wages have gone up. Uh, just like before, they can't find anyone. But uh, now with all this COVID stuff, it's it seems like they really can't find anyone. Uh, I even applied for a wiring technician job, which is basically you work in a fact or not a factory, like a, a warehouse lab setting. And you're just wiring stuff up following prints that job was posted for 18 to 21 an hour I told him hey that's not even really close to what I'm trying to make thanks thanks for the interest and they emailed me the next day and said okay how about 28 so and that's like a that's like a first job that's like a right out of college job without any troubleshooting without any PLC work without any serious controls or instrumentation work so yeah the game has changed. Wages have gone up. Jobs are even easier to get. Uh, it's uh, very motivating for me. It's very exciting. I hope that, you know, if any young people or even people my age are watching this video and you're thinking about a career shift, I would strongly encourage you to look into instrumentation and controls. Um, it's a great career. The jobs are out there. The benefits are good, uh, people respect you, You're, you feel um, you, you, know, you feel like an important piece of the operation. So, so I just want to make a quick video and just tell y'all that the job market, especially for INE, instrumentation and electrical, instrumentation and controls, automation, it's looking beautiful. The jobs are out there, the people aren't out there, they need people. You know, asking you shall receive. Um, please comment on the video. I don't care if you like. I don't care if you subscribe. Ask me questions. Share your experience. I would be considered a medium career uh, technician. Late stage career technicians. Brand new people. Please comment. We can all be friends. We can all talk about instrumentation and controls in the comments. And uh, I am working on a quote unquote real video right now. I uh, had a couple speed bumps, but that video should be coming out soon. Just talking about, you know, what it's like troubleshooting, what's the job actually like. Uh, so keep an eye out for that, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. <laughs>